It's Positively Muskegon, Andy O'Reilly along with Terry Sabo today, our newly elected 91st district rep. And 92nd. we are second. 92nd. 92nd. District. I get my districts messed up. <laughs> we are here today at the Muskegon Heights High School because earlier this week a letter came out of Lansing, some news came out of Lansing that was pretty disturbing to the Muskegon Heights community and you kind of I mean, you've got a long history in Muskegon Heights, and we know that Muskegon Heights schools are really the heartbeat of this community. They, yes. they, you know, they've seen better days, but if yeah. you go back and you know the, the, the parents and the, and the people that have gone through here through the years, there is a lot of Tiger pride in Muskegon yeah. Heights still. Sure is. And you've spent a, a good deal of time here. Talk about your time here with the Heights. Well, you know, I've been here for 25 years, you know, working at the police and fire departments, yep. um, and then uh, moving on and working at the county level or the county board. Uh, and then now working as a state representative to actually be able to represent uh, Muskegon Heights in Lansing. Yeah. And, uh, you know, it's really important for me to do that. And, and in regards to this news that came out uh, yeah. last week, Friday, for me, was uh, the news of the, the school reform office in right. Michigan uh, announcing that the 38 schools were on a potential closure list. And uh, one of those schools was Muskegon Heights High School. And uh, that did not set well with me. It shouldn't. And, uh, it shouldn't set well with anybody in Muskegon. Well, no. And uh, what's interesting about it is that, uh, you know, one of the actual Republican, uh, the Republican Senate education chair actually came out earlier uh, and said that uh, he thought that the, the formula being used to grade these schools was actually flawed. And he's uh, put in a bill to actually have it repealed. And now this is the same law that's uh, potentially going to jeopardize Muskegon Heights High School. You're very new to the House of Representatives in in, in Lansing. I mean, is it, first off, is it going okay? Oh, it's going great. It's going all right. Yes. Saw some pictures of the office. You got a nice window to look out. Yes. Yeah. It's so going not good bad. Me personally, anyways, right? It's going good. Yes. <laughs> is it is it common for somebody that's this new to the legislature? To write a letter like you did to the governor that's so sternly worded? Well, you know, Andy, I don't know, to be honest with you. I yeah. really don't know, but that's the way I operate. Right. Um, you know, I'm not going to just stand by idly and uh, and watch this happen to our school here in this community. Uh, because, it, and really, this is more than a school. It this, really is. This is a community center at uh, Muskegon Heights High School. I'm not going to, I'm not going to, you know, say I know everything, all the ins and outs of the Heights and in the, in the neighborhood and all that stuff, because mm -hmm. I, I, I don't. Yeah. But I do know this through experience and talking to people in and around the Heights. This is something that can't be lost. That's correct. It, I, I feel the same way. Yeah. Um, you know, and I've been in very close contact with the mayor of Muskegon Heights, yep, uh, the superintendent here in Muskegon Heights, Arena. the independent school district for the area. Um, I mean, these are all people that are all on the same page um, and hopes that we can save this school. Yeah. Um, now, make no mistake, I think everybody realizes that we have to do better when it comes to the educational aspect. Absolutely. That's why we're there to yeah. begin with. Um, but we've they've been given a plan, and this plan has been playing out over the last several years. Um, and unfortunately, the, I don't believe that the school reform office in Michigan is giving the Stephen Heights High School an opportunity to go through with their plan, to actually see results. And I've, I, I am amazed at some of the things that go on in this building here um, with the breakfast program that they have for the students, the lunch, the, there's a dinner program. I now. like their media center. Have you seen that? It's incredible. Give and me that uh, for a week, man. I'd know, love that. And there's all kinds of extracurricular activities that have been right, added into, right. the, into the daily schedule. Um, there's a lot of things good that are happening here in this school. And, uh, and we need to keep working on that uh, because this, really this is what this community needs. Now this idea that uh, came out of Lansing to potentially send these kids up to 30 miles away to no. another school, come on now, that's, to me it's ridiculous. We're, I mean, um, it, to, me, to me that says they're trying to tear apart a community yes. when people here are working as hard as they possibly can to keep it together. That's correct. And, uh, and they really are. And uh, we, but we got to do better. Yeah. It's just that simple. We have to do better. But I really believe that this community is is up to the task. And uh, I believe in that firmly. And that's why I've done what I've done to to speak out to the governor and, uh, and continue to uh, battle and stand up for Muskegon Heights. Have you heard anything back from the governor since you sent that letter? Not yet. Not yet. No. So we'll see. Thinking you uh, might get a call to the office? Or? I hope so. Yeah? I hope so. You yeah. know, it's uh, because I feel very passionately about this. Sure. And uh, it's just not right. These kids in this school, uh, specifically in the high school, have been through so much over the last several years, going from a public school to, to the Mosaica experiment, and then the, now this uh, public school academy. They have been through a lot, yeah. a lot of uncertainty, um, a lot of turmoil, and uh, these kids deserve better, and, yeah. uh, and that's why I'm doing what I'm doing. I couldn't it's agree. the right thing to do. It, it, do you think it's because it's not a public school anymore that they, they kind of brought this idea out of closing it down, or if it was, because it's an academy, Yes. to me it's yep. still a school, I don't care what you call it, yep. but do you think if it was a state 
public school, this would have been different? Well, there are public schools on the list. Okay. So, you know, I don't uh, I don't know about all that as far as uh, how they've, how they, they gave us a formula on what they used. Um, I just don't think that formula is fair. Right. I think each school is, uh, is an individualized uh, institution, if you yeah. will, and uh, they ought to be graded on that. Yeah. Um, not in a lump. Uh, a lump capacity yeah. to say, okay, all these schools are failing. It's just not correct. I, it's it's not the school that's failing. It's the uh, it's the criteria that's being used to grade them that's yeah, failing. I agree. And uh, and you know, this, like I said, this is not a political thing. No. Um, you know, we have a Republican governor who has instituted this program. Well, he's he's been moving this program forward, I should say. But then we also have the Republican senator of the Education Committee, as I mentioned earlier, that feels that the system is flawed and it yeah. needs to be repealed. So uh, I, I stand with uh, Senator Pavlov, who's, okay. uh, who's introduced this bill, and that we need to do better, and uh, we need to figure out a better way to grade these schools. Perfect. He's swinging for you. I'm telling you right now, it's a good thing that we got this guy over to Lansing for us here in Muskegon Heights. Follow up with us. Oh, absolutely. Let us know how it goes. I wanted to grab you on camera and give you a chance to explain your position. You know, I shared the letter and all that other stuff, but you're out yeah. there and you're swinging, well, and that's you. what we need. I thank you. I appreciate so uh, keep we'll keep you updated on what's going on, and uh, Terry Sable, keep up the good fight in Lansing. Thank you. You bet.